My name is Jamie Hubbard. And I'm Doug Johnson, and our kennel name is Classics. Well, I got my first Clumber Spaniel in uh, 1984. I worked at a vet clinic, and they um, had a client who had Clumber Spaniels, and I thought they were really unusual, so I did a little bit of research to find out that they were a purebred animal, and um, I pursued a relationship with that person, and it's been you know great ever since. It was a natural progression for me. I mean, I never dreamt that I would be breeding dogs. Um, I thought that I would have some, and you know, the woman that I got my first dog from really helped me um, get involved in the breed. She showed me how to show, how to take care of, how to, um, you know, basic animal husbandry for the breed to keep them in condition. And then it just started, it sparked an interest. I was very young. Uh, pliable and I got you know sucked into this cool sport of showing dogs and one thing led to another and I got my first um, bitch and bred a litter um, and it was very successful and so it got kind of hooked. Well certainly the best in show win at Westminster um, with Brady is you know was just huge for me and my kennel uh, came out of the blue it was a you know unforgettable evening stump when he went best in show at Westminster as well in 2009 that was that was a highlight. Stump's win at the garden was uh, is still one of, I think is an iconic moment in the sport of dogs because of the dog's age. He had a great dog story overcoming illness coming back from a campaign. He hadn't been campaigned for over a year when he went to Westminster and went best in show. Um, a dog that's 10 years old, I mean, that's just, you know, highly unique, uh, really different, and um, this a, a, was good for the breed. It's just a huge, huge um, achievement for that dog and that breed. I mean, we had a new litter born today. Yeah, and I mean, the very first two weeks um, of each litter, they get care 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So we have care lined up overnight, during the day, while we work. Um, it's a very busy, very busy oh, yeah. period. Yeah. I mean, breeding clumbers is a challenge. It is hard to you know, keep them alive. The mothers are a little bit lazy. They're not um, real vigilant. They have, a, they have a real problem just monitoring their own babies. And uh, we, they require the additional help. It just, you just don't have them and leave them. I mean, that's a breed that is low, low, low in numbers. There aren't many of them. So each one has kind of a significance to them, just in terms of breed long, you know, survival. The general health and longevity of clumbers has improved greatly in the last 30 years that I've had them. It's probably the healthiest they've ever been. And I think that's a lot to do with the orthopedic challenges that the breed has faced. Uh, we're, and people have learned to keep them thinner, fitter, longer, with a little bit more exercise. So Clumber College um, was really born out of a need for mentorship within um, the Clumber community. It's something that I've felt very strongly about, um, giving back some of the um, tips and knowledge that I've gotten over the last 30 years of breeding this breed. We wanted to um, invite people in and share um, and a, a positive experience about breeding and owning this breed and have people take advantage of you know some of the challenges that we've experienced and the breadth of knowledge that we have having judged and imported dogs all over the world um, so it was for breeders and exhibitors and um, clumber enthusiasts to come and learn um, some breed specific training that you don't get at any you know dog show um, this was a little more in-depth look at you know what it is to have this breed how to keep it breed it house it uh, train it yeah I mean there's a lot of years of experience between the two of us and and not just specifically in Clumber Spaniels but in the dog world um, in general so when you have people that are very interested in the breed 
we felt that there was a need to, to share our knowledge um, and pass that on because we're not going to be doing this forever um, and there needs to be a new generation of people come up and be able to take off from where we left off. So, Yeah, I mean, we want to plant some seeds and spread some, you know, basic knowledge of, you know, what it is to have this breed and what you're looking for um, when you have a litter, uh, how to evaluate, that type of thing. For me, I mean, I want to be remembered as being successful as a judge and as a breeder, fair, honest, um, with a lot of quality, um, a lot of integrity. I take this very seriously. I don't think that Jamie and I are, you know, we're not your average breeder. I mean, we, we are so deeply uh, enmeshed in it. Um, it's very personal to us. Uh, and we love what we do. Um, we take it very seriously. Yeah, I mean, it would be nice for people to look back and say, well, they made a difference. Um, whether it be in the breeding of the dogs, which clearly we are making a difference, or even, you know, we judge a lot too. So, you know, keeping an honest um, opinion of where you think the breeds should be going when you judge a particular breed, um, you know, people can look back and say, well, you know, they always stuck to their guns. Um, again, what, whether it be judging or breeding, I mean, we had a vision and that's, that's where we went and we never wavered off of that. I mean, I'd love to be remembered for that. Mm.